Brian did a great job today. He was, uh, you know, he was 100 percent in seven on seven, and I don't, I don't know if we had any incompletions with him in there in team. And so he's he's done a really good job of staying in in, in the now, you know, staying in the meeting, staying in the moment, getting ready to to, to at some point play, in, you know, in his mind. And so that that's great. And he's he's uh, not just been in the meetings; he's been attentive and and at the meetings, you know, present at the meetings. And and there's different guys throughout the years where that's not the case. I imagine with the situation that he's in. Uh, it's a lot more, well, at least uh, there's a lot of mental stuff going on. You know, he's sure. thinking, I'm not going to play, and all of a sudden it's a possibility. What do you tell him about that and to, to kind of quell whatever is going on in his head? We try to talk about that a lot at the beginning of the year of, of hey, you, you never know. And do we want situations to arise where, where, you know, guys that you don't expect to play are called upon? No, but, the, you know, invariably they happen. They happen all over the country. And, and, you know, you look in the conference right now, and there's been a lot of guys that have, have played. And I think to his credit and to all their credit, whether it's Nate as the backup or, or Brian, who's, you know, now probably going to end up being the backup, th those guys have been ready. And that, that's to their credit of, of being a, awake and alert and, and attentive in, 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 uh, in meetings. Are you guys prepared to, to burn his red shirt? Is that is that a concern? Uh, it's not a concern. I mean, it's it's a it's a reality. You know, you have to you have to prepare for for all these situations. We we need to prepare for for what's in our team's best interest first. And he's he's more than you know aware of that and more than voluntarily in favor of that. I know that some teams will, I guess, in this situation, get him game time um, in case you know if, if there's a time where it's a blowout or something mm -hmm. to get him some experience in case Darren would go down. Is that something you guys are thinking of doing? Um. Yes and no. I mean, there's you know there's there's obviously a thousand ways you can look at that and the pros and cons of okay, you know a guy that goes in there cold or a guy that that you know plays in in a theoretical garbage time situation that what's more worthy? I don't I, or, I don't know. You know I think I think again Brian Brian came out today and had a great practice. Uh, I think our team has a lot of confidence in him. They've seen him practice and seen how he's been prepared uh, throughout the season and, and and you know it's a lot like Nate at Washington State where our team our team would would not miss a beat. From their confidence standpoint, with with somebody else going in there. Let's say you're up 45 in the third quarter. You want to get Darren out of there. I mean, is it does it make a second guess now to put somebody else in there to save him? Um, you no. Know, and we went, you know, we went through that a little bit in this last game uh, of of. You know, we talked about putting Daryl in or, or, or Dustin in, and, and just in the situation, we just decided to just hand the ball off and you know get out of the game and not put him in any type of read situations and just just get out of there. Um, and then that's you know kind of kind of what we talked about earlier of, of in that situation is that Brian or is that Daryl? You know, that's what we'll we'll decide. We'll find out when it happens. Yeah, yeah. When you say is that Brian or is that? Daryl, mm -hmm. but you're not going to put Brian in if, if Darren is healthy, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, correct. Yeah, the, the, it was a hypothetical situation of if we're up by X amount of points, you know, what's right. the what's the guy? Um, and we just have to. It's a short term, you know, short term answer and a long term answer. And and we want to redshirt Brian. You know, there, there's no we're not making any bones about that. But he's our, you know, second best best quarterback right now. Um, and had a great practice today. So the, all those all those things will filter out. And Brian's in. Fully in favor of, of, you know, coming in and playing if, if he's needed, um, and and we know that his long term you know best best deal is for him to redshirt. So it's it's the it's the the double edged sword. Does Darren do anything differently? Throw the ball away a tick quicker or get down a little? Quicker? I don't think you can do that. I mean, you know, there's uh, that's not our style. That's not his style. I, th I think he's pretty heady that way. You know, he had that one one run right up the middle where he, you, know, you could see him glance to the sideline and kind of check first and make sure he had the first first down and, and got down. And so that's that's you know what he's done all along. But you know then he had three personal fouls against him too, so you can't prevent prevent any of that stuff. Um, but getting in those situations where you're trying to to shield yourself, that's just that's almost worse, you know. That's and, and again, that's not our style. That's not his his deal. You're not working on the sliding technique. <laughs> we'll get that. Get out the slip and slide. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, I missed the you know first part of what you're talking about. Is it is it is a tough decision to decide? I mean, if you get a big lead in your next few games, do you just get Brian some game time situation, or do you need? I mean, how do you decide whether to get him some experience? Right. That's again, that's the the sixty four thousand dollar question of is is it. Is playing in a in a theoretical meaningless situation valuable, rather or just coming in cold and you know doing his deal and who, who knows I don't I don't know the answer to that I've seen guys come off the bench and play great that have never taken a snap I've seen guys that have played in all those other situations and come in and not played very well so you know I think it depends on the guy and he had a great practice today so who, who knows.
I've heard you, I think, say it early in the season, he's a very smart young man. He is. He's, he's you know, he's picked up everything really well. Uh, that's what I think is the most important part is our team has confidence in him. You know, our, our team, just as when Nate came in at Washington State and our team kept playing, they, they would not they would not hesitate if, if he was in there. Um, and, and so that that's probably the most valuable bit of information uh, that you need. Do you think that we anticipate that you know being a, a game time decision or will you guys go sure. to that game? I mean we'll certainly we'll have some, you know, bullet points in our mind of of, of uh, you know sequences or scenarios or whatever whatever it is. Um, that we'll have decided beforehand. You don't want to get in the game and just make some, you know, rash decision. But our guys, our guys are playing well. They're play, you know, there's still a lot to play for. And and again, Brian, Brian's the, you know, shoot, he'd, he'd get in there and play left guard if he had the chance. So that he he's he's all for whatever the team needs. Is there a school of thought that says the, the you're not even know the future is now? It doesn't matter a whole lot at this point. What you know down the road a little bit I mean well our yeah. team are yeah absolutely you know our team is the most important thing and again Brian you know Brian is I mean I couldn't even get the question out of my mouth I mean you have to talk to the guys about that because yeah. make sure that they're you know they're all in so to speak and and I mean I couldn't even ask him the question of would he be willing you know it was end of discussion kind of a deal so from that standpoint it's you know it's out there and then that's the again that's the 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 gray area that you get into is what is the short term and what is the long term and, and weigh it. You guys do scout team uh, you know, so much during the week. How mm -hmm. much time do they have really to prepare for what your first team and second team offense are doing? Well, that's what's been, you know, we always keep our, our guys that, you know, kind of our scholarship guys that we think down the road, uh, we always keep them in our own meetings. They don't go to the scout team meeting. So Brian's been in every meeting. Um, all year long and he's done a great job of not just being at the meeting you know but but really at the meeting present asking questions um and again he, he's done a really good job of retaining that stuff um as, as we've gone through the season